So for instance, a child is having challenges in carrying out a task or is exhibiting some very troubling negative behavioral issue. You need to calm down first to be able to connect with that child. You're shouting at that child. You're screaming at that child would only escalate the situation. Hello everyone. My name is Omo Omiya Gumbiadi and you're welcome to this channel. Here I create content for all stakeholders who work with young children. How do you then connect to correct the young child around you? The first point is have a developed plan. For instance, as a class teacher, if you are working with a child and you want to help the child with a particular behavioral issue and you need to connect with that child, the activities ongoing in the classroom should not be disrupted. So you need to have a plan. What would you do with all the other children while you connect with this particular child? And this also takes place in the home environment. As a father, as a mother, you need to connect with a particular child to work with a behavioral issue or challenge that the child is having at that time. Take the child away from that scene while your spouse or the other adult help out with any other child that you may have in the environment. Behavioral issues that young children have can take place in different settings. It could be at home, it could be in school, it could be in church, sometimes even at the shopping mall. And you need to have a developed plan to see how to help those children. And we're saying this because we have some particular children who specifically have challenges in this area. You need to plan your strategy around how to support, connect to correct this child. Secondly, another very helpful tip is to have a designated location, either in the classroom or in the home setting. I'm not talking about a naughty corner, like a naughty chair or things like that that we hear educators or parents talk about. But you have a particular area. It's like creating a Zen zone for that child. Some of us as adults, you know what to do to calm yourself when you are anxious or when you are going through some panic attack and all that. If you have a designated corner or place in that environment where the child can go to, for instance, you have a corner where you have a chair, a little chair for the child, you have another one for the adult. So the child goes there and then you go sitting with the child to talk through the situation the child is having at that time. Some home environment can decide to use the dining table, some use the kitchen area, some use the bedroom. As the child is growing up from one level to the other, you tend to change the setting. And what you're doing for that child, it becomes the Zen zone for the child to calm himself or herself. We've seen instances where children by themselves develop that and impulsive reaction or respond to situation they're going through. They just quickly go to that corner and have some me time and they come back feeling better. Of course, it's because the adult has been able to walk them through this process. So have a designated location to help the child connect with you and then you're able to correct the child. The third point to note as you connect with that young child to correct is to calm down. You as the adult need to calm down. For you to take a child through self-regulation, you need to be self-regulated yourself. So in other words, you cannot help a child who is dysregulated when you are also dysregulated. For instance, a child is having challenges in carrying out a task or is exhibiting some very troubling negative behavioral issue you need to calm down first to be able to connect with that child. You're shouting at that child, you're screaming at that child would only escalate the situation. Sometimes you actually may need to take a walk and take some breathing exercise and come back so you can be focused to help that child. Don't forget this point. Calm down. Self-regulate yourself and then you'll be able to connect with the child to correct him or her. Don't forget to 
give a thumbs up. If you're here, you are yet to subscribe. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you will be able to get them. Thank you so much for staying on today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.